Hey guys, today I've got a short lesson for you and I'm going to cover something that I have not yet covered on this channel and many of you have asked me about this over the years. I can't believe I don't have anything on this yet. Today we're going to talk about pinch harmonics. Good thing I'm not doing this on St. Patty's Day, otherwise I'd need a green pick. Alright, so there are basically three elements that I'm going to share with you that's going to help you nail pinch harmonics more often than not. Because as you know, there are those times where we're like, yeah, I got it down, and then you try it again, it's like, what happened? Why am I not getting this effect? Well, combining these three elements together, I think this is going to help you, again, nail it down more often than not. Maybe... 8 out of 10 instead of 2 out of 10. Now make sure you hang around to the end of the video because I just briefly want to share some tips with you on when to integrate pinch harmonics, when it's going to sound best and maybe when not to do it as well. Alright, so technique number one of three and this is going to be probably the most crucial technique of them all because if you don't get this part then you're not going to get the pinch harmonic sound. Okay, so this is going to be the way we strike the note with our pick and with our thumb. So you see how I've got my pick here. Let me get up close with you guys. So I hold my pick, and this is not a how, how to hold your pick video because everyone holds their pick a little bit differently, and what might work for me may not work for you, vice versa, okay? I'm just showing you how I do it. I hold my pick with two fingers here, my first two fingers on that side, my thumb on the other. So that's not really the important part. The important part is to make sure that your thumb, when you're playing pinch harmonics, that your thumb is right there at the edge of your pick because the goal is when you hit that string, when you pick that string, you want your pick and your thumb right there to be picking that almost simultaneously. Obviously your pick's gonna hit that first, but you want your thumb right there behind it and it's literally like a pinch. It's almost like you're pinching the string as you pluck it. Now, the second part to that little piece, the picking piece, okay, is that you'll want to kind of, and I'll give you a close-up example here, you'll want to kind of shift your pick to where you're picking almost kind of sideways almost instead of picking straight down. We all pick with kind of an angle anyway, but you'll want a little bit greater angle so that, again, your thumb and that pick are basically pinching that string so you can get that effect. <laughs> All right, now part two of three, we're going to switch from our picking hand to our fretting hand. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have a little bit more aggressive attack with the finger that we're using to fret that note with. So for example, I'm going to play a little pinch harmonic riff and I'm going to do that pinch harmonic on the fifth fret of the A string. And you're going to notice that I have a bit of aggression in that. I'm kind of like barring down on that note. Now I know as metal players, a lot of you may already have that aggressive attack, but you want to put just a little bit more focus, maybe not even aggression, but just focus on that note simultaneously as you're having that pick hand technique do that pitch harmonic because that in conjunction with how aggressive and the attack that you give that note is going to work together to give you more of that effect and that's one of those things that's going to help you nail it eight out of ten times instead of two out of ten times now the other reason why i bring that up is you may be like me and you may have a lighter touch to your playing i'm not an aggressive player at all even though i primarily play heavier music i don't play aggressive now that's not right or wrong or, or better or worse it's just preference it's just the way i naturally play so if you're one of those players as well just know that you're going to have to focus on that note and put a little bit more aggression into that one note as you're doing that pinch harmonic. All right, number three, the third element to pinch harmonics. Okay, so we talked about the picking hand. We've got that down. We've got the technique, right? And then we also talked about the fretboard finger, the finger that's going to be, you know, primarily hitting those notes that you're you're applying that right hand, that pick hand technique to. So that combined gives this more of that effect, that pinch harmonic. The other thing, the third element is you have to realize that 
that position, the position of how you attack that note and the position of your picking hand in regards to where your pickups are down here, you know, between the neck and the bridge, that position may shift a little bit depending on where you're at on the fretboard. The other thing I'll say to that, and this is kind of the difficult part, is that can be different between guitars, okay? So what that brings me to is that you really have to know your instrument. You really have to know your fretboard because where I could play this on one guitar, now let me play that same thing on this guitar. So I got a little bit different sound out of that and I also, and you probably couldn't see, it's kind of hard to show this part, I also had to position my pick hand just slightly differently as to where I'm picking at. So you really have to play around in this area here. You're going to have a core area. I would say your first three strings, your E, A, and D strings, anywhere between frets two and five, maybe even seven, you're going to be kind of in the same position. Sometimes that's just where your hand falls naturally that's going to give you those pinch harmonics. But for other notes, as you're climbing up the fretboard, you may have to play around with your pick hand position to find what best suits that pitch harmonic. What's the, the best possibility of that happening? What's that position? So you'll just have to play around with that. And it, it won't be any extreme difference, right? It's going to be real close. But again, you just kind of have to subtly mess around with that as you play different notes throughout your fretboard. Now remember I told you to hang around till the end of the video because I'm going to share one powerful tip with you that I think is going to help you in your songwriting when you're writing your own metal riffs and you want to integrate some things like pinch harmonics into your riffs just to kind of help bring things out and just give it more life and hey it just sounds cool. Here's the thing, techniques like pinch harmonics, they're awesome, they sound cool, but they sound better when they're used subtly. In other words, if you're playing pinch harmonics, you don't want to play it all the time throughout the entire song. And the reason why is because things like pinch harmonics, that's one of those techniques that when you hear it, you're like, oh, what was that? That was cool. It kind of catches you by surprise and you're like, wow, that's really awesome. It's just like that uh, hot sauce on the chicken wings, extra hot sauce. You know, you get a little bit of it, you're like, that was awesome and then it kind of pulls back and goes back to the main part of the song after that. However, when you use it too often, right, because sometimes we, we find out how to do techniques really, really well, but then we'll overdo it, well, it kind of loses that effect. So I encourage you, as you're writing your riffs, throw things like this in there. Throw a little pinch harmonic in there every now and then, but just don't do it all the time because again that gets old. So that's just something to think about as you're writing your rhythms. You want to appeal to the listener, to the person that's listening to your music and you want to captivate them and again throwing those little things out there like that and just bringing it right back in. It's like whoa <laughs> that was cool. So I think that will help you write better riffs and more creative riffs. So I really hope this lesson helped you guys and I hope I was able to explain this okay enough so that it's understandable and digestible. Speaking of digestible, I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat soon but yeah just leave me a comment if you have questions. Sometimes these little methods can be a little tricky but all it takes is a video like this and it's like okay I've got it now. I'm gonna apply this and it's working. And again Pinch harmonics is one of those things that, <laughs> even for me, it doesn't work 10 times out of 10. <laughs> it's more like seven and a half, maybe eight out of 10. But I think bringing all these variables together will help you get that seven to eight out of 10 as opposed to two out of 10, right? When you're trying to play it, it's just not working. So again, I hope this video helps you guys. Also remember, I'm giving away my free practice guide. There's a link in the description of this video for that. And there are other links in the description as well where you can listen to my music, you can buy merch and CDs from my shop and other ways to support me. And I greatly appreciate that. So guys, thank you so much. Until next time. Keep it metal.